This is a response video to Black Metal Rebellion's live show. I believe he said it was his third show tonight, and I was fortunate enough to catch his chat. However, I'd like to shout out a couple people on YouTube before I get to my response to his um, live show. Um, first off, I'd like to thank um, a YouTuber by the name of E.L. I believe he's from New Brunswick, Canada, and if he's not, he can correct me. But I sent him a couple CDs and he did a really awesome review. Thank you so much. I'm going to put the links in the description down below. Please check that out. Check his channel out. Subscribe to him. And I was also busy packing up a couple other packages for some other YouTubers. Um, of course, uh, I responded to Black Metal Rebellion. I'm going to be sending him out some CDs. These are all pre-release. Um, these are not due out till November. Um, these are Levidities. Um, these guys will be getting these in the mail. Um, this is going out to um, Metal One on One. Um, I believe he is from the United Kingdom. And then this one is going out to Azagog's Abyss. Um, all the way out to Ohio. I'm going to mail those out tomorrow along with Black Metal Rebellion's um, CDs um, that just came out for Lividity. Um, a couple releases and a brand new album. You guys are going to be lucky enough to get that. Um, but I was going to respond to uh, one of the questions that he had out there about metal and fashion. I thought it was a really interesting subject that he brought this up. Um, metal isn't really a fashion, so when people say, oh, you're not wearing metal clothes, or your hair is not metal, or you're bald, so you can't be metal, or um, some people say, you know, you're a girl, so you can't be metal, um, well, metal is not fashion, um, I say you wear what you want to wear, um, a lot of people have a professional life, they can't go around with um, tattoos and piercings. Um, I myself am a professional outside of, of course, obviously I've loved metal forever. Um, here are some pictures of me and my fashion from back in the 90s over here and over here. Um, obviously you can see um, not much has changed since 1990 whatever. Um, I'm still heavy into metal, um, but I don't bring it at work, um, keep it professional. Uh, a lot of people have professional lives, um, and it's not fair to criticize somebody. And also, um, one of the other panelists, he brought up a very good point. Um, I don't know his name, the gentleman with the really long beard, and he had the hat on. Um, he said uh, these kind of criticisms about fashion can also alienate newcomers to metal and it's not fair to um, subject people that it could be a newcomer to metal um, to that, which I thought was a great point, um, excellent point. Like I said, I really truly believe metal is not a fashion. So if you're into metal because you think it's a good fashion, then maybe you're not into metal for the right reason. Um, metal should be about live shows. I love live shows. I go to live shows all the time. Um, just because I'm in my um, 40s now doesn't mean that I can't still go to shows. Doesn't mean I can't still wear um, my leather uh, shoes or um, my battle vest, you know, that I got. See, let's check this thing out. You know? Just because I'm also a responsible adult, um, a parent, a professional, um, a wife, um, all that and everything doesn't mean that I can't sport my hardcore that metal gear. Um, and just because somebody has a bald head, it's not really fair to judge them or whatever, whatever they want to wear. Um, Another thing I thought was excellent about your live show, um, Black Metal Rebellion, um, I 
super chatted you a question and um, you guys responded and the question was what do you like from YouTubers? And when I threw that question out, I was glad to see that the whole panel had answered my question because I wanted a question for everybody on the panel. And I found everybody's question, um, answer the question to be excellent, most excellent. Um, they really hit on some points that I thought were spot on. Um, very good uh, responses. Um, as a new uh, content creator, um, I wanted to see some input from guys that have been doing this, obviously, a lot longer than I have. Um, I'm an amateur, obviously. Um, like I said, I'm in my 40s, so I'm a little behind in the technology. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, um, not just uh, to expose, uh, obviously, my husband's bands, but other bands from the area that I live in were from Chicago so I'm gonna be bringing other bands from my area hopefully to get um, some interviews um, I've been in the metal scene for 30 years so uh, I'm well known by a lot of bands around here and I'm hoping to present to you guys better content but I really 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 was very impressed by the YouTubers on this channel tonight on this live show. Um, I hope you do this every Sunday. I will be coming back. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to get other people. Um, like I said, a shout out to uh, some of the YouTubers that I've been connecting with. Um, I appreciate your support. Um, El from uh, Canada uh, has a really uh, cool up and coming channel. I really appreciate that. Metal One on One from the United Kingdom. He reminds me of the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. Um, that's a really fun uh, show right there. Um, like I said, I'm mailing off my uh, stuff. Uh, Black Metal Rebellion, of course. I've been watching your show. You've been really inspirational. Um, a lot of your reviews I really like. Um, that's why I was happy to send out a package to you guys. Um, uh, then I also met um, As a God's Abyss tonight, which was really awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you for responding. Thank you for subbing my channel. I appreciate uh, more content from all of you guys. I, I can't wait to see. I'm going to be putting up a lot of live shows. I can't do, wait. Um, to put up, I just uh, saw Paradise Lost. I'm gonna put that up on there. Um, Suffocation is coming in about 10 days. It's uh, the retirement tour. Um, and I'm also gonna see At the Gates pretty soon. I'm gonna post that as well with um, Wolves in the Throne Room. I can't wait to see that show. That show's already sold out, but I'm definitely gonna put it up there. Uh, Chicago Metal is going to be back on the scene and I think um, YouTube is the new tape trading. Uh, tape trading a long time ago was how I got started into really hardcore underground death metal. I used to tape trade through the magazines and answer classified ads. Sometimes you would just trade a whole bunch of blank tapes and get back some of the greatest stuff that you ever heard of. Uh, some of the stuff that you really even can't find anywhere else. Um, anyways, thank you for uh, responding to my super chats. I really appreciate that. That was super awesome. As you can see here, back in the day, I had that fashion then. Still got that fashion now. Never gonna give it up. Never. That's right. So don't give up, bald or not long hair or not, it doesn't matter. It's where your heart is in the metal, not where your fashion is. Because metal is not fashion.